Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky held talks on Wednesday with global leaders eye on the sidelines of the United Nations General Assembly in New York. Zelensky met with French President Emmanuel Macron, Panamanian President José Raúl Molino, South African President Cyril Ramaphosa, and European Council President Charles Michel following his speech at the UN General Assembly. Zelensky urged global leaders Wednesday to stand with his country and not seek, lull, instead of a, real, just peace, more than two years into the war with Russia. At a time when he faces growing pressure from Western allies and some of his fellow Ukrainians to negotiate a ceasefire, Zelensky told the UN General Assembly, there's no alternative to the peace formula he presented two years ago. It seeks the expulsion of all Russian forces from Ukraine, accountability for war crimes, release of prisoners of war and deportees, nuclear safety, energy and food security and more. My congratulations. I received all your message, Mr. President. Thank you yeah, very much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Absolutely not. Yeah, and uh, thank you very much. Thanks to your country. I recognize you as well. How are you? Good to see you. Good to see you. I'm very well. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky used his address to the UN General Assembly Wednesday to highlight fears of a nuclear incident as his country battles Russian aggression. The Ukrainian leader raised alarm over Russia's potential actions against his country stressing, in Ukraine, we know exactly what we are dealing with. He urged global leaders Wednesday to stand with his country and and thank them for their support more than two years into Russia's war. Thank you very much, dear leaders, your excellencies. Today I want to tell you about a day that has already passed and a day that must never come. On the night of March 4th, 2022, I received one of the most terrifying reports since the beginning of a full-scale Russian invasion against Ukraine. The report was about Russian tanks firing directly at the buildings of our Ukrainian nuclear power plant, the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant, the largest one in Europe, six nuclear reactors. The Russian army stormed this facility just as brutally as any other during this war, without thinking about the consequences, possibly disastrous. This was one of the most horrifying moments of the war, when no one could know how Russian strikes on the nuclear facility would end. 
and everyone in Ukraine was reminded of what Chernobyl means. Now, the Dabarizhia nuclear power plant remains occupied by Russian forces, unfortunately, and it's at risk of a nuclear incident. This is the major source of radiation danger in Europe, possibly in the world. That's why in the peace formula I presented the first point is about nuclear safety. In Ukraine, we know exactly what we are dealing with. And I want to thank you, the General Assembly members, for adopting a resolution in July this year on the safety of nuclear facilities in Ukraine. Thank you.